Dear friends, this is my tutorial 39. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to calculate the vertical ionization energy of this CR3 SI12 anionic cluster using Gaussian software. So this vertical ionization energy also called vertical ionization potential, vertical detachment energy. So this is our uh, calculation folder. So we will see that. Uh, so this is the our vertical initiation energy calculation folder. So first you have to do uh, geometry optimization of that CR3 SI12 anionic cluster. So this is that input and output file. I will show you the input file using our uh, notepad plus plus. So this is that uh, input file. So first you have to give percentage chk equal to the name of the system on a dot chk and you have to give memory and the pro shared. This is the important things. So if you are using your uh, um, Linux system, this may be very based on your Linux configuration. So this is the theory I used. This is the basis set I used for geometry optimization of this metal cluster. Then I used here. This is the important keyword for optimization. So we have to give OPT. So this is the SEF XQC max cycle keyword. Uh, this is because uh, sometimes this metal cluster is won't converge. So if you use this uh, max cycle XQC, uh, it will converge without any error. That's why I mentioned if you want, you can uh, keep. So if it did not converge, you can use this one. Then you have to give space here. After that, you have to give the name of the system. Then you can give the uh, total charges of this metal cluster. This is minus one. Then you have to give the total uh, uh, the spin multiplicity of uh, this metal cluster. This is the 8 octet I mentioned. This is the Cartesian coordinate of this uh, CR3 SI12 ionic uh, cluster. So if you want to get this uh, Cartesian coordinate, you can draw using your Gauss view software. You can save as a .djf file. You will get your Cartesian coordinate of uh, any metal cluster. So you can use that uh, Cartesian coordinate to uh, optimize the, that corresponding metal clusters. Finally, you can give some space and save it. So you can submit this calculation using your Windows system. It will complete within one or two hours because this is uh, we are doing only optimization only. So if you want to do the frequency calculation, so you can use your uh, um, Linux system because the Windows system cannot handle this uh, vibrational frequency calculation. So you will get uh, some error. That's why I'm saying don't do frequency calculation here for this metal clusters. So now I will show you this input file using Gauss view. So open your Gauss view. Just you can drag that uh, input file. So this is the input file of that uh, Chromium 3 SI12 anionic cluster. So this is the output file. I already did the optimization under this we will see you that uh, end of the file. So here you can see that the mentioned normal termination of Gaussian 09. That, that means the calculation completed without any error. That's all. So now what you have to do important things. So you have to view this output file using your Gauss view. So you have to save this optimized Cartesian coordinate for further one more calculation we have to do in order to get our uh, vertical ionization potential. So first we will see the results of this one. Later we can save. So go to, uh, go to result. You can click summary. You will see this uh, small window. So here you can see we did only the optimization. This is the calculation method that is theory. So basis said we used this one. The total charge is this one. Spin multiplicity is octet that we did not use solvation yes, that's why none is coming this is the uh, charge of the system and uh, total energy of the system and there is no imaginary frequency this dipole moment this is the uh, point group d to d so now what we will do just we can save this cartesian coordinate uh, to do the another single point energy calculation so i will tell you what is the single point how to do what to do so go to here you can mention some sp name save it so this is the this is the our optimized cartesian coordinate of this 
metal cluster. So we are going to use uh, for next calculation this uh, coordinate only. So I already did that uh, calculation. I have made created folder file also separately. So this is the, the next calculation. So this is the one the input uh, file for that uh, uh, next single point energy calculation. So uh, like what you did earlier for geometry optimization of that any any cluster. So you can also do similarly. So here percentage chk here you can see uh, the name of the system dot chk the similarly memory and the end shared you can give. So here you have to give that uh, the hashtag and this is the theory this is the basis set we are used to optimize this metal cluster. So here you see last time I mentioned that the optimization here I did not mention that optimization. So I want only this calculation single point only. So that's why I mentioned SP. So I did not do any optimization. Then you have to give space. Then you have to give the system name. Then you have to give the face. Then you can give zero. So last time uh, what we given, we have given that uh, minus one charge and octet. So here we are giving zero charge and the spin multiplicity seven. So because if you want to um, uh, do calculation of vertical ionization potential, we have to remove one electron from that uh, our main uh, metal cluster, the primary metal cluster. So we have removed one electron from there. So then uh, we have changed into the spin multiplicity because if you change the um, electron, the spin multiplicity always change. You have to carefully uh, check and uh, change the spin multiplicity and do the calculation. So then we can get uh, energy of uh, total energy of this system under that uh, primary system. So if we can subtract, we will get that uh, vertical ionization potential. I will tell you how to calculate that one later. So first we can submit this uh, single point energy calculation. So this is that optimized the Cartesian coordinate. So we do not do not if you want to calculate this uh, virtual vertical ionization potential we should not do the uh, should, should not do geometry optimization you should remember that this is very important so then i have submitted this calculation uh, in uh, using windows version of gaussian and also completed i will show you that output file so this is that output file for uh, sp calculation single point energy calculation you can see here the normal termination of Gaussian that means our calculation also completed without any error. So now I will tell you how to get the energies and how to calculate the vertical ionization potential. So now I will tell you that uh, how to calculate that uh, vertical ionization energy using uh, this uh, two system. This is that uh, anionic system. This is the neutral one. So I will show you how to do this is the I already calculated just I will show you this file. So this is the I calculated file. So I will tell you that what are the energy I took from that output files. So this is that uh, first one is uh, anionic output file. Just I will drag here. We can go down into the output file. We can find the total energy of this system. This is the total energy of this anionic system 66053313358. So I also copy pasted here you can see 6053313538 this is the optimized minus one charge total energy so second one is the total energy of a CR3SI12 neutral system single point energy calculation only we have to do so this is the HF energy of that one I will show you that HF energy in that output file so this is that uh, single point output file if you go down you will get this uh, energy this is the 66052371867 so you can also 23718 this is the one electron removed that means that neutral charge total so this is the formula so we have took from the two energies so we are going to substitute into this formula so vertical ionization energy equal to E0 of neutral species neutral species means so one electron removed one so E0 means the total energy of the initially optimized structure that is our system is anionic one. So just you can uh, subtract this uh, two energy. So if you subtract this uh, two energy you will get go to calculator just paste it. So we will get 0 
41713 this is the unity's artery so we are going to convert this artery into electron volt that is also very simple and easy only i will tell you how to calculate that so just you can type ev2 kilocalories you will see the weissman instead of science calculator or uh, call by you can uh, choose any one so it's fine no problem so we can uh, copy paste our artery energy so you can paste in the artery section here just you can uh, click any in the tab just you can press tab or you can uh, click any in the box you will get that corresponding total uh, converted energy so here is 2.56 is so the uh, vertical detachment energy is 2.56 so that's why i mentioned 2.56 ev so we can also compare these things with the reported paper also so we can compare it that also very useful so this is the that paper so in this paper only they studied that uh, uh, calculated that vertical uh, detachment energy and also photoelectron spectroscopy so if you go down the table number one you can find this is the our system cr3 si12 so this is the one this is the theoretically they calculated vertical detachment energy that also vertical ionization potential the same only they calculate 2.56 so we have also calculated 2.56 only so if you want to also read you can read this paper you will understand more easily so i also use the same basis set and the theory for uh, this vertical detachment calculations so one more things i want to show you so if you want to know more about how to calculate uh, this thing just you can visit uh, this uh, uh, research gate page so they are given one clear answer you can read it you will understand more easily if you did not understand uh, my pa my teaching so this is the one i think we completed this tutorial we will see next tutorial as soon as possible So thank you so much for watching my video if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share and also please the, click the bell icon for future video update thank you thank you so much enjoy please subscribe my channel